write a program to print the Fibonacci series. Here the Fibonacci is basically the number is the sum of the last two numbers in the series. Something like if we have two digits like let's start with 0 and 1. If we take the summation of these two it is 1. So that is the third number. Then next is addition of the last two numbers 1 and 1, 2. Then again add the last two numbers 1 and 2 it is 3. Then 2 plus 3 is 5 and 3 plus 5 is 8 then 5 plus 8 is 13 and so on. This is the Fibonacci series. In order to implement this, we will be using three variables. Let us call the first number as first, then we have second and third. Now coming to the logic, the third number is basically summation of the first and second. So for the implementation, we will be using a for loop for let us start it from some number 1 or maybe 0, we will go on till the, the given number. So if you want 5 numbers or 6 numbers, we need to iterate 5 or 6 times. So here we will be using that same logic, third equals first plus second. Now as we calculate the third, we just need to change the pointers. So let us erase this. So we are going to shift first to the second number, second to the third number, third to the fourth number. So in the program I can say first will be replaced with the second number and second is replaced with the third number and each time we iterate we are going to print the numbers printf uh, here we are going to print the, only the first number. So as the first number is printed then we calculate second and third as we go on to the, again the second iteration the first number will become the second and so on so on so on. Let me show this with the real code let us code it on the machine. Write a program to print the Fibonacci series. For this, let us take some variables. Other than the number, we need a loop count of i. Then we need the first number. And let us assign the first number as 0. Then let us take second as 1. Third, we will be calculating it. So enter, not the integer, enter the number of terms. So once we get the terms, we will be storing it in the number and let us go with the logic over here. So we will be using a for loop i equals 1. The loop has to iterate till we reach the number of terms i plus plus. So first thing is I will print the first number percentage d. Let me use tab space and first. So as we print the first number then let us calculate the third number. Third is first plus second. Now then just change the pointers. In first we are going to store the second one and in second we are going to uh, store the third one. That is this loop will keep on iterating. It will go on till the number. I think this is a small error. This is third. Alright. I think this should work. Let us compile this. Okay. No errors. Let us execute this. Uh, Let us go for 5 terms. So 0, 1, 2, 3. I think it's working. Let's try one more. Let's go for 10 numbers. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 13 and going on. Alright, it's working. Mm -hmm.